hi friends in this video we are going to discuss about the uh, privilege of you oracle database users like what are the privileges that needs to be assigned to any user to work or, or work on a database so there are two type of privileges generally system privilege and object level privilege already in the previous lectures we have covered uh, user creation and user creation related DB activities and uh, uh, profile related things in the uh, previous videos in this video we will be covering the privilege part as we know privilege is a permission to execute any particular type of SQL statement or uh, perform a particular action on a database object so uh, uh, in that the system privilege first first of all we'll see a system privilege so i'll be connecting uh, to 19c database like i already i have con connected it so in the last video we have discussed this all we will uh, i'll just clear it and then we'll connect once again and then and then we'll do the practicals together we are connected since it's a container and plug pluggable database concept so here we have to see so pdbs and then we'll connect i'll connect to pdb alter session set alter session set container is equal to orcl pdb so now we are connected so we'll check mm, describe V dollar PDB V dollar PDBs okay describe V dollar PDBs by this we can see we'll write a query select select name comma open underscore mode from v dollar pdbs pdbs we are connected to this orcl pdb and we have already created few users so we'll start the practical directly i'll just uh, uh, see the users which are what are the users are available select username Username from db underscore users. Yeah, we have 43 users. So we were doing the practical with the dev underscore class user. I'll use that same to proceed further. Uh, I'll be describing the uh, db underscore sys underscore prep. This and uh, this is the view view we use db underscore sys underscore briefs by this we check the system level privileges uh, it does not exist okay okay dba and describe dba underscore sys underscore briefs yeah by this uh, we can uh, write a query and we can we can see what are the privileges comes under this so fine i'll be going with the document and uh, as you can see uh, this is the query that you you can execute and see what are the system level privileges are there that we can assign to any uh, user like by this we can see set of privileges create session create operator create view create procedure db link procedures so these are the um, system level privilege that we assign to 
any of the user as per the need as you can see set of 240 uh, 240 rows are showing it means this many privileges that that are there that we can assign to any user as per the uh, client demand like if something comes on a request to assign uh, a drop um, a view or a, a create view or whatever the type of uh, request you will get from the application side to uh, if that needs to be assigned to any user you can assign or mostly uh, on application level we give object level privileges on system level privileges we just assign to admin related uh, activities so this is the way that we can grant i think i already have granted to this i'll use another user like dev1 there is a one more user which is created with dev1 i'll use that user only instead of dev1 because this user i have already uh, assigned so let's see yeah it's gr getting granted so any table create any table alter any table create any table if you are assigning to dev one user after that this user can create any table and also alter any table means uh, we can uh, do the modification on the table um, by this user and also now and now if you wanted to check privilege we can uh, check by this even I can uh, go with dev underscore class user as as well but uh, since I have used it for already one time for practical so this time I'll be using this dev one yeah you can see this these are the recently that I have assigned create session it's assigned as uh, the time I created this user so the next uh, we have to see by this query we have to see um, uh, always uh, we have to keep in mind db underscore sys underscore priv db underscore tab underscore priv for checking our object level privilege and there is a, a role related uh, view uh, role underscore uh, uh, db underscore uh, role underscore sys underscore priv so by this three uh, view we check privileges actually uh, uh, this uh, view we can use to identify what are the privileges assigned to any user and what's new we have to assign to that user even uh, in the interview interviews also interviewer ask uh, similar uh, this kind of questions like uh, how to check a system level privilege and how to check object level privilege uh, how we can uh, identify that how uh, what are the privileges assigned to this user and what new needs to assign to do certain activity so that kind of questions also uh, interviewer can ask me uh, in your in interview so fine i'll i'll be proceeding with the new uh, i think if i have executed then i have to execute for dev one dev class i'll see whether i have yeah rework i have revoked this any table from dev underscore class and similarly i can revoke that uh, from dev underscore one as well dev underscore one yeah by this way we can remove and then the next is object level privilege as i was talking about object level privilege is the right to perform a particular action on an object or to access the another user object we have to assign this privilege by, by this if you are assigning uh, object level privilege we can grant access privilege to any other users object as well as, as well as um, any existing uh, object which is there in the database itself that also we can assign mostly it will be on uh, other user objects we are getting uh, we are assigning privilege by this so by this select distinct privilege from db underscore tab underscore priv by this we can uh, check that what are the privilege that we can assign by this uh, db underscore tab underscore priv you can see there are a few 
like uh, reference use insert alter qe write execute delete update select these are the privileges that we are assigned to any object uh, any user on a, any object like yeah, on table uh, if we assign object level privilege to insert data so by the by assigning this privilege we can uh, uh, insert or modify or we can delete that or update the table or uh, any view object view or index or anything we can uh, modify and do whatever the activity we wanted to do especially this kind of request you know, we will be getting from the application and like this set uh, set of uh, new u objects that required privilege to this particular user like from the application team there will be a uh, um, generally you will see this kind of situations where um, so many uh, users are there and for those users you need to grant uh, some set of privileges object level privilege to some set of objects where the uh, uh, role uh, role creation is also required in those cases like if you have a uh, set of uh, objects and you wanted to assign to most of the users so in that case role uh, role creation uh, plays a very important role that also will be uh, checking in the in the next uh, slide that how we can create a role or how we sh we can assign so by this we can uh, grant insert delete or update privilege to this user on any table like any table we have to create first and then we have to assign um, that insert delete privilege to the, that user that view um, let me see whether the table is created if that table will be there on database level then it can assign directly otherwise we have to create the table first and then uh, it can assign yeah currently table uh, this table does not exist so first we have to create the table otherwise i'll see what are the tables are there and then i can assign uh, select and describe db underscore db underscore tables yeah table name let's see select table underscore name from db underscore tables see so many tables are there almost 2180 so any of this table we can use and we can do the testing like country countries i'll use this table honor also we have to check actually mm, uh, let me write a query to check the honor okay select uh, table name comma honor from db underscore tables where table name equal to countries now we can see hr is the owner of this table so now we can uh, use this here like sebastian in place of sibyl i'll use hr dot countries okay and then we can assign to that by this we can easily grant now we have selected this table and now we can grant it yeah you can see now it's granted like insert update delete uh, delete statements we can easily execute on this country table by dev underscore class like we are connected with sql developer and then we can execute it easily so this is the way we can perform and then 
similarly execute also we can grant if you wanted to roll uh, revoke we can revoke the same uh, like uh, well, let's see how we can revoke uh, here in place of grant we'll use revoke revoke insert delete update on this no okay something uh, revoke update okay on i missed it missing keyword revoke from actually it should be like from in place of two i should use from Ryok HR country from dev from <coughs> dev underscore class by this we can remove yeah now you can see it's revoked so this is the way we can grant and revoke yeah I was talking about role creation a role is a collection of privileges that allow our easier management of privileges like we can create any role that's not a problem but the meaning of role is to assign some set of object privileges and that uh, set of object privileges will be uh, stored inside the role and then in in case application team is coming with so many users and they are asking to assign the set of um, object privilege to those user so in that case role plays a very important role where we can just create a role in that we will assign that set of uh, object privilege to that role and then directly we can uh, grant that role to all the users whatever the new users will be coming will be using that and uh, we can assign it directly so role underscore system underscore prev this also it's very important to check what are the roles and privileges are there by this we can check and assign and uh, creating a role it's very easy uh, like create role and then any name you, you have to choose for your role and then we can see see this is the way we have to create dev role already i have created so inside whatever the privileges you will assign that yeah select any table create session whatever the privilege will be assigning that will be there and that will directly get assigned to any object if you assign that role to that user so <coughs> uh, i think we are good to understand uh, we are good with all the privilege related thing now we are uh, okay if you wanted to drop this user drop user username cascade by this we can drop and if you wanted to drop any role drop role dev underscore role like already role uh, is there i'll i'll just execute and show you that how it's getting huh? dropped uh, drop role dev underscore role by this you can drop it easily so this is the whole about um, privileges and uh, this is the three important uh, views that you have to always remember how to check a system privilege uh, we have to um, remember db underscore sys underscore prev to check a system privilege granted to any user by this this is a very uh, important question that uh, you you might get in your interviews if you are going with one, two, one or two year of experience or three year even you you will be getting this question how to check a system relay privilege uh, what's the view that you have to use so sys underscore db underscore sys underscore prev and similarly for object label db underscore tab underscore prev for any user this is the query you have to tell and uh, check the role assigned to that user then db underscore role underscore prev these three are the very important question that you uh, might get in your interviews so <coughs> this we have to always keep in mind so thanks for watching till here this is the thing we have to consider otherwise revoking will be as similar i have already done for one of the request so thanks for watching till here we are covered the privilege part uh, and now will i'll be coming with the next video soon thanks for watching till here